My name is Romy Grammaticus and I'd like to tell you my story because my story really is the story of Governor's Camp. I came to Kenya in 1965 on holiday really, sort of prolonged holiday, but like so many people I fell in love with this beautiful country and I stayed on. I met and fell in love with my husband, Aris, a Greek, and together we had some crazy adventures. We used to put a, a tent in the back of our little car and drive off into the wild and spend a few days with a few provisions just exploring remote areas of Kenya. It always occurred to us that this was an experience that was really very special, getting close to nature, close to animals, birds, plants, beautiful scenery, and should be more widely available to other people. We wanted to share it. Uh, but at that time, there were no permanent tented camps in Africa. It was an experience that was really reserved for the very rich. In 1972, an opportunity arose to develop a little area of the Maasai Mara Game Reserve. We explored, it was completely undeveloped at that stage and very wild. It seems unbelievable now, but you couldn't get within half a kilometre of any animals at all. Um, we chose a spot in the northern part of the reserve that had been kept for colonial governors to have a camp when they wanted to take their retinue out into the wild. It was a very special spot on the river close to a swamp where there were always animals around. We developed this, we went down every weekend in a very unsuitable car, batting down on very bad roads, clearing a little area, going away, coming back the next weekend and carrying on from there. We had some wild adventures on the way, uh, but we developed a little camp and opened it up. It was very well received, it was a new idea, and we went on from there. Gradually, we opened three more camps in the Maasai Mara, and various members of the family came in to join us. Dominic, our oldest son, Justin, one of our twin sons, and our daughter, Ariana. It was very much a family enterprise. We opened up Sabinho, the first luxury camp in northern uh, Rwanda for gorilla viewing, and that became a huge success. And throughout, we have developed a really intense family feeling within this company. As the years have gone on, we have members of staff who have been with us for 20 and 30 years, and second generation members too. We all consider it part of the family ownership. But throughout our development, we've always believed in having very strong relationships with the community around. People must see a benefit from tourism. And in the areas we've worked, we have developed dispensaries, hospitals, maternity units, schools, and many, many community projects so that we have a real close relationship with the people. We've recently gone into partnership with Wilderness Safaris, a renowned uh, outfit uh, from Southern Africa, and this has enabled us to really develop and build our name and our product in Eastern Africa. As a medical practitioner, I'm very aware of what's been going on in the world recently, and the fact that so many people have been cooped up and enclosed and leading rather limited lives. We're in an enormously privileged position here to have this wonderful open environment. We've been developing all our security systems to make sure that we can keep you really safe whilst on safari in Kenya and feel that this is possibly the best experience you can have as an antidote to all that everybody's been going through. Our ambition now is just the same as it was when we started almost 50 years ago that this is an experience we really, really want to share. It's very special, it's very beautiful, it's very wild. The scents and smells and sounds of Africa are something that really does touch your soul. It's an incredibly special experience. Come and share it, it's special.